Hey everyone, it's Triple Mega Threat. I got a really sweet treat for you today. We're gonna review some Dragon Shield sleeves that Dragon Shield themselves sent to me. And it's not just these four. We have the Harry Potter sleeves as well. Let's jump right into it. So first we're gonna talk about these two sleeves. So these two are just what their colors say they are. We have the pink diamond mat and we have the green mat. Now what they look like single and double sleeved, there's just a tiny difference. Single sleeved, you know, that has that little space up top. And this is for both colors. But when we go to double sleeve, still we have a lot of room up top. And this is the Ultra Pro Pro Fit inner sleeve. So again, not much difference, just a little more room is taken up. Now when it comes to actually holding the cards in our hand, now the sleeves aren't too slippery on the back, they're just gonna fly out of our hand, right? We can still hold them, and it's very nice. And the front of the sleeve also has a clean look. It's not gonna mess up our foils and make them look dirty. This is gonna be a clean look. For example, we have Trailblazer's boots. This is a foil, and we can actually tell it's a foil because it has that rainbow sheen to it. And this is not a foil, and we can also tell that as well. When it comes to double sleeving your cards, these are gonna be perfect. And whether it's pink or green, this is a great option. But can we expect the same quality from the art sleeves? That is the real question. Now, I have only ever used the colored sleeves from Dragon Shield, never the art ones right here. So how do they compare? Well, first off, compared to the box, the sleeves are actually a little bit different, at least the Starry Night one. For example, this is the art on the sleeve, but this is the art on the box. Now, I was expecting the art I would see on this box, but that was not true. It's still really good looking. But when it comes to the Jester God, you are literally getting what you see on the box. So my only complaint would be that I didn't see the exact art on the box to the sleeves. Now when it comes to the Starry Night sleeves, it actually has a different feel on the back of it. It does feel a little bit looser than the mats. So for example, this has more of a grip. This is really smooth. So let's see how it holds up to holding. Okay, it's actually really nice and it looks nice too. Okay, and we see it has white in the back but whenever we get to the colors, sleeves, it is whatever color that the sleeve is. So how about when we go to the Jester God? So with the Jester God sleeves, we have a white background in the front, and in the back, we have a, a Jester God right there. And you can see there's a white outline in the back as well, just like the Starry God, except it is blue. Now when we get to the Harry Potter sleeves, you'll see why I'm pointing this out. But again, the art sleeves feel really nice and really premium, actually. I'm surprised because the back of it feels like it's gonna slip out of my hand, but it's actually doing really well. Now, when it comes to the Harry Potter sleeves, you're gonna notice that it doesn't have that white lining I was talking about previously with the Jester God or Starry Night. This is a full art sleeve, and they are all going to have that white background whenever we're looking at the card. And they all have the full art that I was talking about, and there's gonna be each house at Hogwarts. So when it comes to the feeling of the back of these, it's the exact same as the other art sleeves that I mentioned before. And holding the Gryffindor sleeves, which I'm assuming all of these are gonna feel the same, but the shuffle feel feels great. It still feels like it's gonna slip out of my hands, but it's not, like it's just really smooth. When it comes to the stress test, we have the green and the pink ones. So let's talk about how these hold up. When it comes to the pink one, you can see I am trying my hardest to try to split this open. Yeah, it's not gonna happen, it's just gonna stretch it. But when it comes to the green one, I apply the same amount of force and it rips really soon. Just like that. So again, I'm surprised that I actually did this. Because they're the same sleeve, just different colors. Now moving on to the two art sleeves, these did not tear at all. I had to stretch them and that's all they would do. These were tough as scales as Dragon Shield claims they are. Now again, I don't expect anything different from these sleeves because again, they're probably all made with the same formula. But again, let's try to rip these anyways. And really to my surprise, these did not last at all. Like I put barely any pressure on them and they're just ripping each one of them. No matter what house they were, nothing's stronger than the other. Now normally you're not gonna put these sleeves under this kind of pressure. This is an extreme cases, but again, these tore the easiest out of all of them. Now there is something I have wanted to try. These are the Gryffindor sleeves from the Harry Potter sleeves. We just did the rip test, but what happens when we shuffle our sleeves wrong and they go like that. What are our cards going to do? What amount of pre- okay. So already we see that that is indenting in it. I'm trying to see how much pressure these can take because there's just gonna be somebody 
That shuffles wrong because that's just how it works. And these aren't ripping automatically. I personally, I enjoy watching the rip test, but I think this is more realistic. Okay, and see, they're still intact, but you can tell it's going to get those little dents on it. But again, the card's still fine, and the sleeve that was doing the damage, you can tell there's some damage right on that sleeve. But again, the card's still intact, and the sleeve is still intact as well. Now, when it comes to the pink sleeves, what are we going to get? Again, still the same thing. You can tell there's some slight damage in the corners. And yeah, right here, there's a little ding. When it comes to the art sleeves, this is the Jester God. What can we expect? Still, the sleeves are intact. Now, I'm pushing more than I want to. We're still going to get those dings at the bottom. And this one seems to have taken the push a little bit better, but again, not sure if the camera's showing it, but there is a slight, da there is slight damage on the sleeve. How about when it comes to the Starry Night sleeves? What are we going to expect from that? Okay, still the same thing. All right. So all of these sleeves just took damage from what would happen to be if our cards just went into each other because someone shuffled wrong or whatever happened. And they did just fine, but again, there's damage on the sleeves now, so we need to be careful whenever shuffling like that. Now, when it comes to shuffling the cards, the Starry Night cards did really well. There was some resistance at first, but after a little while, these did pretty good. The Gesture God sleeves felt great to shuffle. I had no resistance, and it was really sweet just them folding into each other, really. That's how it felt. At a first impression, these did great shuffling into each other. When it came to the Harry Potter sleeves, these felt great as well. I'm really surprised at how well the art sleeves are shuffling. I wasn't expecting this, but they're just really smooth and easy to work with. And the classic Dragon Shield sleeves, the colored ones, these are always going to be my favorite. These did great as always, and these are just my personal favorite. So what grade would I give the Dragon Shields? Well, I think it's a great product. I've used Dragon Shield personally for over four years now, and I don't believe I've ever had a Dragon Shield sleeve split on me. And I've always personally used the colored sleeves. So when it comes to the art sleeves, I don't think I am the right customer because I still would rather have just the colored sleeves, but these are really nice. They feel great to shuffle, and they're also nice to hold in the hand. And again, they have the clear front. It's not going to be murky where you can't even see a foil card, which neither of these are foil. But again, it's going to look nice. And the art sleeves, I believe, are usually going to have that white background in the front of the cards. And of course, in the back, you're going to have whatever design you chose. As for rating the Harry Potter sleeves, again, I'm not their target customer. If you love Harry Potter, I think this is a great product for you. Now, when it comes to grading the Harry Potter sleeves, I am going to give it a 9.5, only because of the split test. I don't want to make it down to a 9 just because of that, because those are extreme cases. But again, they did rip. But when it comes to actually putting a sleeve inside of a sleeve, they did really well. So again, I'm going to give these a 9.5. Now, when it comes to the colored sleeve, I just really recommend this one. I think this is a 10 out of 10 product, and I personally use this as well, and they've never split on me. But again, in extreme cases, when you're trying to actually rip them, they're probably going to rip or they're just going to stretch out really bad. And yes, they also survived the insert test. So I think these are a great product, 10 out of 10. When it comes to the art sleeves, I'm going to give this product a 10 out of 10. It feels great, it looks great, but I don't think I am their target audience. But I think this is a solid product and one you should consider getting if you actually really like this. Now, I did find this misleading because the Starry Night does not match the sleeve. But when it comes to the Jester God, it's spot on. When it comes down to it and you want to sleeve your cards, I really recommend Dragon Shield. This was not sponsored by them, but I personally use Dragon Shield. I've never had one of their sleeves split on me, and it's always been a great experience. And the box actually says 100 standard size sleeves, but there's always more than 100, at least 101, every time I've opened their boxes. So if a sleeve does happen to split, which I don't think it will, if it does, they give you that option. And again, if you're a fan of Harry Potter, these are great options for you. So if you're still not sure whether you should get these sleeves, I really recommend just these colored ones. If you're not sure about the other ones, the colored ones are always my favorite. Like if I'm playing a mono green deck, I'm going to suit it up with the green matte sleeves. Maybe my deck is white and red. I'm going to sleeve it up with the pink because I love doing that. Or if it's red and blue, it's going to be purple. 
And if you love the art sleeves, these are great options for you. And if you love Harry Potter, you're going to love these. Before I end the video, I want to say thank you to Dragon Shield for sending me these sleeves to review. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope I made it clear which sleeve would be best for you. I'll see you all in the next one.